All right, we're going to look at another example of confidence interval of the population proportion. In this case, we're going to look at an interval where we don't have a common value for z alpha over 2. In a random sample of 200 computer chips from a certain factory, it is found that 4% are defective. Construct and interpret an 80% confidence interval for the percentage of computer chips from this factory that are defective. So the 80% confidence interval of the percentage, that's a, that, that percentage is the proportion. I guess I could, could have said proportion there. Um, that 80% is an uncommon value. So 90, 95, and 99 are the common values. Um, and if it has a smaller confidence level, then we would actually expect a smaller interval. Okay, so how are we gonna compute that? So we're first gonna look for what are our given statistics. Uh, we see that N here is 200. And in this case, I'm not given X, I'm actually given P hat, the percentage of the defective ones. So that's already given to me, I don't have to find it. Um, so N equals 200, P hat is 0 0.04, and we're looking to construct an 80% confidence interval of the population proportion. So it's good to identify that to distinguish this from a problem dealing with the mean, and then we're going to look for the population proportion p to be between p hat minus the error and p hat plus the error. Uh, so we're going to need q, q hat, and that's 1 minus p hat. So 1 minus 0 0.04, 0 0.96. Then we need to find our error. So for our error formula, the error is z alpha over 2 times the square root of p hat times q hat over n. We have all those values now except the z alpha over 2 because we have an uncommon value for z alpha over 2. So we need to find that, and we're going to use a standard normal distribution. So in a standard normal distribution, the mean is 0, and the standard deviation is 1. And the z alpha over 2 is over here on the right side of the mean, such that we take the 80% and put it in the middle. And then whatever's left, it split between these two tails. So you have 1.00 minus the 80%. That leaves us with 20% left over for the two tails. So we cut that in half. That's our alpha but we're looking at the tails of alpha over two over here and alpha over two over there. So there's 10% in both. And then for to utilize Excel, we're looking at all the area to the left of Z alpha over two. So that's all of this 80% along with this little 10% over here or 90%. So when we go to Excel, ooh, I didn't type that in. So it's going to be norm dot inverse 0 0.90 for the area to the left of z alpha over 2, a mean of 0, and a standard deviation of 1 because we're looking at the standard normal distribution or the z scores. I'm just going to copy this, jump over to Excel. Paste it in, tab 1.28. Typically, we do round z-scores. Uh, we typically round them to two decimal places, except for the two z-scores that we have for our special values, 90% and 99%. Those are usually both rounded to three decimal places but most every other z-score we'll round to two decimal places, in this case, 1.28. Or you can just always round them to two, except for the ones that we already know. 
All right, having found our z-score, 1.28, we then want to plug it into this error formula, where, hang on two seconds, um, the error is given by uh, z alpha over 2, so 1.28 times the square root of um, sorry. Okay, so the error is given by the 1.28 times the square root of p hat times q hat divided by n. Um, again, I can just notice, notice inside the square root, I don't have any parentheses or anything because it, it does it from left to right. So it'll do that multiplication, then it'll do that division. We don't have to worry about parentheses. We can just type all of that into Excel. And I get 0 0.01773.62. And I'm going to round that to 0177. And then we remember what we're doing. We're finding this confidence interval about the population proportion. So that's p hat, which is 4%, um, plus the 0 0.0177. Seven, I guess that should be an eight. If I'm rounding it to three decimal places. Zero, one, eight. And that would be 0 0.022 up to 0 0.058. Um, I can check that over here in Excel for the rounding. Again, by just sort of saying, okay, so this is gonna equal, um, we need our p hat, which is 0 0.04 minus the error. And this one is going to equal our p hat, which is 0 0.04 plus, I'll click on the error. So 22, 2.2 up to 5.8%. All right, which is what I have here. And our population proportion lies between those. So we say we are 80% confident that our population proportion of defective chips from the factory is between 2.2% and 5.8%. Okay, then if I want to just look at this whole problem again real quick, um, this was different. First off, we're looking for confidence interval of the percentage or proportion as opposed to the confidence interval of the mean. And because we're looking for a confidence level of 80%, that is not a common value that we would normally be looking for. So we have to find the z-scores in this scenario. Um, another thing that was different about this problem was that we were given the p-hat as opposed to having to find it as x over n. Um, and then we were given n and p hat, we found q hat. Then we looked at what we needed, this confidence interval of proportion. Then we wrote down our formula for error. Now this is not the formula for error for a means, it's only the formula for error for the proportion. Remember for the means we use uh, confidence dot norm when we know sigma and confidence dot t when we don't know sigma. Okay, and in this case, we had to find our z alpha over two. We used a standard normal deviation, looking at the area to the left of the z alpha over two, and you know, I could, ooh. That's probably the place where most of us are the least comfortable with this content. Um, because it's sort of combining these things together that we did before with what we have now, and so that, that's tricky. Anyways, here's my normal distribution. And what we're saying is, okay, my Z alpha over two is up here. And I want 80% of the area to be in the middle. 
And that leaves whatever's left, 20% to be cut in half amongst these two spots. And then in Excel, we look at the area to the left of this. So that's the 80% plus the 10% or the 90%. And we're using inverse norm because we know that area and we want to find the corresponding score. So that z-score is 1.28. That allows us to find the error. Again, just use Excel, 1.28 times the square root of p hat q hat over n. We get our error. Hopefully, we, we probably want to wait, wait to round on all these things until the very end. You saw I actually made a rounding error earlier. Um, should be an eight, and that should be an eight. There, I've corrected it already, and then we're 80% confident that the population proportion lies between these two values. All right, that'll do it for uh, confidence intervals of the proportion. Uh, should get you to um, be able to do most of those problems on the homework.